Psalms chapter 23 and verse 4 says, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Now why a staff? Why a rod for comfort? I would think about a tender hand or a smiling face. Those seem to be the right elements to provide comfort. But a rod? A rod is hard. A rod is stern. A rod is stout, not soft. And yet sometimes the sterner virtues of God can provide us comfort, such as when God fights for us and delivers us from our enemies. No soft touch or calm reaction will make a lamb feel safe when he's being hunted by a wolf. Oh no, it's the strong, swift, and bold staff used by the shepherd to provide a wall of defense that brings the sheep comfort. But comfort is also provided with strong and straight guidance. I could imagine some careless lamb stumbling along the rocky trail and his uh, little legs nearly dropping off the edge when whose staff should appear? But that of his shepherd, pressing on his side to guide his little hooves back into the middle road of safety. Then again, there's also the chastening aspect of a staff. I'm not talking about the beating of the sheep by the shepherd, but the firm and kind correction that a shepherd gives to his sheep, or a parent to a child, or our Father in heaven to his children here on earth. Now we could certainly choose to be annoyed with the correction, you know, with the guidance provided by our shepherd, but you know we could also choose to be comforted by it, trusting him to use his staff to bless my future. Are you facing enemies right now? Friend, trust in the Lord, for he said vengeance is mine, I will repay. Do you feel confused or lost in your walk with God? Trust in the Lord, for He has promised to guide us into safe paths. Do you feel cast down or ashamed or rebuked for your sin? Trust in the Lord. The Lord loves everyone He corrects, and He only chastens to bless. In all things, I pray that you might find comfort in the rod and staff of your shepherd.